Can we talk about quality? Like, don't play with Vlux. Welcome back to my channel today. We're just gonna kind of do like a day in my life. And yeah, today I just have a couple clients. I'm gonna ship out some wig orders, y'all. Tell me why these people ship back my package. So I got this to ship out back. I guess I didn't pay enough for the shipping, which I don't know. I think I put the wrong weight. So make sure. You weigh it right. You weigh it. Dang, that's hard to say. But you weigh your package right. Because, yeah, they will send it back. I didn't have a scale at the time, so I kind of just, like, guessed the, um, what's the name? But, yeah, they sent it back to me and told me I got to redo it. So, I'm going to go to the post office, ship these two orders out. And then, y'all, I'm so excited. I got new thank you cards like if you don't remember like i ordered some thank you cards i do have a video of my old thank you cards and yeah i just ordered some new ones and y'all did y'all know canva will print them for you like what and literally it took like a day and you just gotta go to fedex like a fedex location to pick it up and that's what i'm gonna go do today and then i have a client and then yeah i just have so much to do i'm still in school too i got school work to do it's going to be a long day. So yeah, I'm gonna take y'all along with me. We're gonna go to the post office first and then we're gonna go pick up the thank you cards. I just got back from, I went to the post office. I have one client, I gotta go back to the shop. Y'all just be so busy, it'll make no sense. But yeah, I just came back home to eat and I'm in a Zoom class right now. Like talk about multitasking, okay? <laughs> but I got my thank you cards from Canva and I was gonna show you guys Y'all, I did not know that Canva will literally print it for you. Yeah, like, I got to design it and print it on Canva. And go to FedEx, like a FedEx print station, and pick it up. Like, I just went to go pick it up, and we're going to see what they look like. Y'all, okay. Okay. They're cute. I don't know. I kind of wanted the background to be like opaque, like not like kind of transparent, but I don't know if that's too transparent. I don't know. I might just keep it because then that's what the backs look like. One of my um, customers had sent me a selfie. She's so pretty. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Super cute. And I got, I think, a hundred of them for like. $30 if I'm not mistaken which was a lot cheaper than um I was gonna go through like my packaging vendor they was trying to charge me a lot more for that so yeah Canva came in clutch for sure yeah they, they're cute like yeah I kind of like like the, I wanted the thank you to pop out like the letters to pop out and I didn't want the um the picture to be so you know so yeah, I got me some Chick-fil-A. I'm about to eat and join my Zoom class. And yeah, I'm going to catch you guys later. So, it's the next day and I had school today. And I had one client. And then after my client, I went to Trader Joe's for the first time, y'all. I did not, like, I don't know, TikTok got me trying new stuff. And this girl did a grocery haul. And they got some different stuff at Trader Joe's. Like, it's, like, different food. And most of the food is cooked. Like, you know, just, like, microwavable stuff. They got shrimp. And it actually looks good. It looks like the Lian Chin shrimp. This is the, um, the honey walnut shrimp. I got some bananas. Their stuff is actually cheap, I think. I don't know. I don't be paying attention to the price, but I think it's cheap. Like, this bread was like $2, I think. I don't know. I got some rosemary. I'm going to make steak, potatoes, and sh the shrimp tonight. And I got my favorite Tress. Y'all, they have Tress Liches cake at Trader Joe's. Like, where? I hope it's good. I love Tres Leches cake. Like, if you don't know what Tres Leches is, Tres Leches cake is like a Spanish type of dessert. It's like soaked um, cake with whipped cream. It's so bomb. Y'all need to try it. 
I got some peppers, sweet peppers. I got some corn. Oh, I'm going to make corn tonight, too. And some chicken dumplings. These are like the type of frozen food, but they're frozen food. I don't know, it kind of looks good, so I'm going to try it. I got some potatoes, which I'm making tonight. Minced garlic. And cheese, brie cheese. Y'all, I love this type of cheese. And all this stuff was around $40, which I don't think is bad for groceries. I feel like the most expensive thing was probably this cake. This cake was like $8. I don't think about it. That's kind of a lot for this little old thing. But it better be good. But yeah, I'm about to put these groceries away and then I'm going to start cooking. I'm going to catch y'all when I get to cooking. So yeah, I just got this package from my vendor. Um, I honestly forgot what it is. We're going to find out. They got a DHL bag and a FedEx bag. Be funny. Like, which one is it from? I've just ordered so much here recently. I forgot what I ordered. Oh, these are my bundles. Oh, that was quick. I just ordered these. Okay, so I got, these are just like a restock of my bundles because I was running low. And y'all, China was just, I'm going to look it up, but China was just <laughs> shut down. So, yeah, I was like, basically, they was in a drought. We was all in a drought for like the past week. I guess like COVID was coming back or something. That's what they said, but who knows. But yeah, so my vendor just sent me some bundles that I ordered and yeah I'm gonna take this room to the shop tomorrow and just check all the inventory there because I just really don't like like working at home I like to keep work at work and home home and I recently started to be more strict with that just because like I don't want my whole life to be just like this it's like you know I want to I don't know I'm gonna come home and have like a separate life outside of business but Yay for the bundles! Yay! I love hair. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring this to the shop tomorrow. I'm gonna do a thumbnail. It's gonna be one of the pictures in my thumbnail. Okay, so I have my potatoes. <clears throat> Y'all didn't have no oil for my potatoes, so I went ahead and used butter. But I felt like I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna taste better than the oil because you know butter has flavor. And I was just saying like I was just thinking like the other day, you know them ran them random car thoughts. You know? I was just thinking like, what if you fried French fries in butter? Like I feel like that would be good. You know how you put popcorn. You put butter in your popcorn, but with french fries, like I feel like that'd be good. So I feel like this is gonna be really good. And I'm just gonna put this in this pan, like so. This kind of looks like a seafood boil a little bit. We doing kind of like a surf and turf. That's good. And now I put the Creole, ooh, this is gonna be so good. I put Creole seasoning. Y'all, I basically put my whole seasoning cabinet to be honest. So I'm waiting on the um, oven to preheat to 400, I think I put it at. Now I'm gonna cut up my peppers, y'all. I'm literally just using the peppers for the aesthetic because I really don't like sauteed peppers. And my mom always tell me to eat my vegetables, so I guess corn is a vegetable. That's the other vegetable I'm having in here, but these peppers are really for the aesthetic, so I'm not gonna put too much. I like them raw though, like they're really good raw. Yeah, but sauteed, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of like the like the soft on the inside. I mean on the outside, and then it gets kind of crunchy. I don't like that. But it's gonna look good with the steak. It just makes it look pretty. So just for the vibes, we're gonna cut up some peppers. Cause if you think about it, peppers don't really taste like nothing. Oh, this is a meal. So now that I have my peppers, should I make the peppers with the potatoes? That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna cook that together. 
And well, now I'm gonna season my steak. To season my steak, I'm going to use soy sauce. Where's my soy sauce? Right here, soy sauce. I just love soy sauce as a seasoning because it's really salty and it has flavor. So it's like honestly all you need because steak don't really need a lot. Then we're gonna use some parsley because we feel like fancy. And then salt and pepper. No, just a tad bit of salt. That's onion powder because I don't have garlic powder, but I do have um garlic mixed garlic. So I'm gonna use that. Did I put pepper in here already and some black pepper. That's really all you need. Steak don't really need a lot of seasoning because that's not what they do. Oh yeah, then I'm gonna put some steak seasoning, which I should just put. That's the steak seasoning. Now that I have um. What do I have so far? This is what I have so far going on. I got the potatoes and the peppers. The steak is seasoned. I got my milk boiling for my corn. If you don't boil your corn with milk, you sleep. So, yeah, what else? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and I'm also making the shrimp, but the shrimp is going to be easy because it's kind of already made. I just got to heat it up. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the air fryer. So yeah, um, let's see what else am I working on. Okay, I'm just gonna put this in the oven too with the potatoes because they said it take about 12 minutes. Y'all, this food is gonna be really good. Like, I really have hope in myself. Because you're gonna be cooking. I just made some bomb alfredo the other day. It was so good. So dinner is served. We got the potatoes, steak, shrimp, corn. Y'all, I tried this shrimp. It is so good. Run to Trader Joe's right now and get the honey walnut shrimp. Oh my gosh, like it's so bomb. But yeah, I'm about to eat right now and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I made it to the shop and I'm just shipping out an order right now. Somebody ordered a 26 inch wig from, y'all all the way from New York. Like I'm so excited. Like my business has been getting so much exposure and I've just been shipping orders like everywhere and I love it so much. So yeah, I have her information um up here. So then, this is how I package it basically. I got the wig and the satin bag, and then my thank you cards, and then my business card. And these are the poly mailers that I use. I got them from Amazon. And y'all, it's so hard. I'm trying to record for Snapchat and for for um, Instagram. Okay, so I'm just about to do this because this is hard to record. YouTube is the most important right now because this is what we're trying to get back after them on. So. I'm gonna put it in the bag. I got my thank you cards and my. Oh, I'm gonna give her a milk bag, a milk bin too. They spending all this money with you. These are the milk bin that I'm gonna put in there. So put that in there, and then I'm gonna fold it like so. Make sure all the air is out. Then I'm gonna weigh it. I got this scale from Amazon. Basically, y'all, this whole this whole office is from Amazon. So it is three three ninety. Wait, three ninety two. Keep going up. What is it? Okay, I'm just gonna round it to three ninety because I don't want them sending my package back. Like like I said earlier in this vlog, y'all, they will definitely send it back. So, three months. I just got done packaging my order because I'm on my way to the, um, what are those little containers called? I'm not going all the way to the post office just because why well, do that when the little container is closer? But yeah, it's so nice outside today. I'm going to show y'all the container. What are those things called? Can y'all comment what it's called? Because I don't know what it's called. I just know that's where you, you put the mail. Oh! It is so nice. And my car is clean, y'all. I know 
I be trying to come for me because my car be dirty, but it's clean as you can see. Yeah, she's clean for the most part. Yeah, we're on our way to the thingamajigger. Yeah, China has been like messing with me lately. I was looking at all the unfulfilled orders that I had and I have a lot like, and I don't like that. Like I don't like people waiting a long time for their hair orders, even though like, if you know that your shipping is gonna take a while, make sure you put that in the shipping because surprisingly, like even though like it's been a while, it's been like damn near two weeks since some people ordered. But that's just because China was shut down, like I was saying, but surprisingly, like they didn't email me, they haven't been harassing me, but I know damn well I would have, but I like, I hate just having orders not fulfilled, but I'm waiting on my vendor to send me um the, the hair, like I got the hair like on its way, but come soon but yeah oh yeah what was i saying i always be off topic but basically i was talking about like if you know your shipping is gonna take a while put that in like the shipping um details like mine says 10 to 14 days like even though sometimes it doesn't even take that long like sometimes you will get it like you know in a couple days okay but i'm about to put these um packages this is that's the thing that i was talking about i don't know if y'all can see it but that blue thing right there and the mail lady right there too. So hopefully it be on time. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it in here. And they are off to where they need to be. <laughs> Period. But yeah, I just have a couple clients later today. Well, like in like 30 minutes. That's why I turn up and do this. But yeah, I'm gonna go do my client's hair and then I will come back see you guys probably like later tonight oh i gotta do the shop tour i'm gonna be recording the shop tour today so that's probably gonna be um out before this video so yeah make sure you check that out because the shop looks so different and i can't wait to show you guys hey y'all so it's the next day and i just came from the shop i just came back home to um pick up my package my hair orders is finally here and i'm so excited because i've been waiting on this package for too long i don't like to tell y'all china been shut down it's been stopping my money and i'm not messing with it like but yeah it finally came today i was so excited like i literally ran home to um get the package and that's what i'm about to go get right now Hey guys, so I just got my packages in my bundles. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a thumbnail. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox this. We'll unbag it. And I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got. I got two separate orders because I've been waiting on this here for the longest. My customers have been waiting on this hair like they talking about they gonna cancel their order i'm like no don't cancel your order because it's coming it's on the way it's good that you communicate with your customers and let them know keep them updated about what's going on i'm just gonna dump this out ah! y'all if y'all don't know by now hair makes me so happy like oh my gosh Wigs and wigs and wigs galore. Um, let me see. So I pretty much got frontal wigs and closure wigs. Basically 28 from 22 to 30 of each length. So yeah, I'm just going to sort these bundles out and I'm going to come back to you guys later. So I'm so excited. I just got some more hair in y'all. I told y'all I've been ordering so much hair lately just because the girls have been texting and the, the wigs have been selling. Oh, let me that. But yeah, these are the 613 wigs that I just got in y'all. Can we talk about quality? Like, don't play with Lux. Don't play. But yeah, make sure you go shop in that bio. I mean, <laughs> make sure. Make sure y'all shop Deluxe. The link will be in the description because if you're not rocking my 613, like, that's hard to find. Some good 613 hair, like, it took me forever. Not really, but <laughs> it did take me a little minute to find some good 613 hair. It's so hard to find. But 
I'm just going to sort through these wigs and then I do have some orders that I need to fulfill. I kind of been waiting for this package because my customer has been waiting on it. So they ordered a uh, thing. Okay, I'm going to hold on that. But this girl, she ordered a 26 inch. I think this is the one. This is 24. I'm going to put this back in the bag. But this is what my 613 hair looks like. It is super full, y'all. Like, can y'all see how full that is? And like this quality, it speaks for itself. I ain't even got to say too much. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to put this back in here. And I'm gonna package up the girls' quarter because the girls have been waiting for their hair, and I don't like that. Like, I'm gonna start keeping all my hair that's on my website. I'm gonna start keeping that on hand just because I hate the whole waiting for shipping. That means my customers have to wait, and I don't like them waiting, and they don't like waiting. I'm pretty sure if you order something, you want it as soon as possible, and that's what we're trying to. That's what we're aiming for is efficiency, and then I gotta make that way tomorrow. But yeah, this is. The way that I have to pack up, I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow, or I can low key do it today. I'm gonna go to the shop and pack up this order. I low key need to start bringing my stuff, some stuff here so I can ship packages from home. But my shop is low key like less than 10 minutes from my house, which is super convenient, and I love that because who got time to be going back and forth? But yeah, it's just this one order that I need to play. I mean, that I need to ship out. And y'all, gonna catch you guys later, y'all. The bundles, the wigs are in. There. Yeah, let me see if I can do a thumbnail.